Hello again, minions. It's Wheezy. Today, I want to talk to you about the Zarqua hydroelectric map in Modern Warfare 2. I want to talk to you about routes, places you can go to get advantages, places you should avoid, how you should play different weapons and game modes on the map. I'm going to break this map down for you so that you can do better every time you play here. So let's go talk about it. Okay, minions, so here we are on Zarqua. I did this in a private match. I've got domination set up just because I think on most maps it kind of in terms of domination points to help kind of anchor my references. So here the game's brought us in on the A side. So I want to just kind of walk you through the map, show you things that I think are helpful to me that I've learned playing the maps. I'll show you some tips, maybe some jump spots that are useful. And one of the places to start here is opening routes for me on this A side and even from the C side. The uh, opening route that I like is along the outside of the map here, along the river. Um, so when you spawn in, um, when everyone's rushing, is I like to come down here and try to move to the enemy spawn from here to get a flank right out of the gate. So about half the time that you take this opening route, uh, you will actually have someone from the enemy team coming this way. I like to use this opening route to get a starting flank on, regardless of the game mode. Um, so just be aware as you're coming from this side, pay attention to any footsteps of anyone moving up there to maybe get an angle on you down here, um, as well as Typically when you get about here, if you're rushing, if someone's really rushing this route, that's about where you'll run into them. So be ready to fight right about as you get to this point, listen for footsteps. And then as you're coming across here, this water obviously is gonna make a splash when you get into it. So what I try to do is jump across as much as I can to minimize that splashing sound. There is a jump up here to kind of move into the enemy zone, but I find that this is actually dangerous because the way people are moving or rushing, they may already be set up there or they may just happen to be moving by here uh, or setting up around here when you climb up. So I, pr pr I tend not to like this point for climbing up. I typically like to rush past here, um, and this is usually the route that I'll take first, just to check and see if anyone's coming from the back of their spawn. By the time you get here, they shouldn't be, and then I'll turn and come up here. That way, if anyone is set up along here, you can get an easy kill from them in the back. And if someone is moving up from your left and you hear their footsteps coming, you should have an, su the surprise and some advantage on them uh, as they come around uh, this way and you should be able to win some of those fights. From there, I will usually push up on top of this and just kind of get a lay of, first I'll check and see if anyone's come up here. This is a popular spot to come and overlook the B flag. And this will apply to, I think, most game modes, um, not just domination. So even if it's team deathmatch, kill confirmed, someone will typically be up here looking for people moving across the middle of the map and in hard points similarly depending on where the first hard point spawns people do tend to like like this position for overlooking the map so when you come up here check first to see if anyone's up here um, kind of scout out where people are and then you can start to move in here see if anyone's moving from across the water pay attention to footsteps and see if anyone's coming from up these stairs if you hear metal clanging coming from out here i wouldn't even press this i would just wait for them to come to the doorway because they won't be expecting you whereas if you start moving towards them then they'll probably hear your footsteps coming towards them. Um, from there, I'd wait, and then you can overlook here, see where people are, and then you've got a couple of options, right? Depending on the game mode, depending on the situation, you can either move down here and try to get kind of a flank behind the C flag or where the other team may be setting up in that building, uh, or you can overwatch where I first showed you, or try and move down uh, into here and see if there's a point to press here or if you can push from the rear. So that's kind of my opening route there. Then obviously it'll change depending on where the team is. That's my opening route from the A side. So from the C side, I like that same basic route. And you can either spawn and push this route towards really the A flag, which is the most popular route. People either like to come up uh, and take this window or just bust straight through this door and rush straight at the enemy. I find that that has mixed success. You may get lucky on that, you may not. Um, what I prefer to do is rush over here as quickly as I can to get back to that other route. I will, when I'm coming through here, I'll peek and see if anyone's rushed straight across there so I don't get killed here. And then I'll try to get over there. Now, you got a couple of options getting over here. Again, you're trying to avoid a big splash in the water in case someone is pushing down on this side so they don't hear you coming. Basically, you need to get a sprint and then you can kind of catch yourself on that ledge. And if you do it right, you won't splash into the water there. Um, similarly, you can also 
Um, if you'd want to push up a little bit further here and then maybe decide late that you want to take this route, you can kind of push around from the side. And if you do that, jump right. Um, you can also catch that ledge without splashing down. But um, again, same as from the other side, about half the time you're coming through here, you'll probably reach this first. So basically, as you're coming up onto this ledge is about when the enemy, if they're rushing this route at the beginning, will approach you. So whenever I come around this corner on an opening route, I like to be checking for people as I'm coming through here because they will either be coming already around the corner, in which case you can hit them right there moving towards you, or they may potentially be um, pushed up onto this ledge, which you can jump off from here, and that gives you kind of a, a spot for where people are crossing here. That's less common, at least straight out of the gate. Um, or if they're moving a little slow towards this flank route, then as you start coming through here, they may still be coming from back here, either pushing up here or just sitting up there uh, and watching. Because as you push through here, people like this building, especially from the A spawn, and they like to hop right up here and get this overwatch position. So if you rush this route, you might find people who are either moving to that position or maybe you're just watching this route here. So be aware of that as you come through. Be ready for that fight. If you come around here and people are further back, they're watching this position, then if you don't win that fight immediately, you can take cover and then you can decide depending on what you think the enemy is going to do. Either maybe switch your route and push back up here, maybe try to go through and surprise them in there. Or if you think that they're maybe not that great, um, you can push up and maybe attack engage them from a closer position. But my ideal route opening here is to come all the way down here and then make this hop up here. And then there's either, there's kind of two main choices you can do here. Usually I'll listen for footsteps and if I hear someone up here in this position already or in this building, then I will typically try and get them from behind, try to get a surprise attack. And someone up here feels like they're in a pretty strong position and at least they have an overlook. But when you're coming from down here, if they're up there and they're just sitting at that wall, instead of doing this mount here, if you just kind of get in the practice of jumping into uh, that window, you come up here, you can kind of hop right up into the ledge. That way you can get a good angle on them right out of here. And also if you do that, instead of like mantling all the way through the window, if you can catch this ledge, then you can mantle quickly onto there and onto there if you're trying to get up here, maybe for a cheeky execution or something like that. But I'll check that, and if there's nothing there, sometimes I will either come up here and check and see if A, maybe they're late coming out of spawn. There's a good chance they've probably mostly pushed that right side. I'll also check and see if anyone's here, maybe pushing the B flag or pushing towards our spawn. You might be able to catch people from behind. So I might come and check that, but that becomes a risky spot, especially if this is still their spawn. What I might also do is if I check and there's no one here, then I'll push through here and check and see because this is where they'll come out of their spawn if there's a sniper or someone sitting back there or maybe someone's been killed and respawned already. Then I'll check here to see if anyone's sitting back here or sniping. Be cautious as you move through here because as you move through this space, you're, you've got no cover and you're open. So if they have people there or there or there, this is kind of a vulnerable spot. So as I'm coming out here, I check this. If it's relatively clear, then I'll sprint over to here and then I'm not necessarily pushing straight back here. Then once I'm in cover, then I'll usually come back and re-peak this position and check and see if someone's here or there or maybe sitting back here. And if not, and I feel like I want to push their spawn, then I'll come through here. This will be where, kind of where they spawn. And then I can either move through here, checking, see if I get them from behind, or I can move into the A capture position from back here. This ladder is here, but never use it. Just go ahead and jump and mantle, as the game's gonna make me look stupid right now. You can just jump and mantle straight up onto the ledge. There's no reason to like climb this ladder like ever. Just always treat it like it's a ledge and jump up there uh, and grab it. And then you can start moving towards um, where other people are. These are my favorite opening routes, although they are routes that I use a lot during the game as well, just because they are really good flanking routes. That riverside is really not a high trafficked area, other than the places where I mentioned where you might run into people coming back and forth. It's really a relatively safe route for flanking. So that's a good uh, option for an opening route or just in general. Most people will tend to stick either to this building or fight over maybe this building and then kind of the middle area. So one spot to be aware of is as people come up here, you can get up to this dome which has kind of overlook positions here and here. This can be useful for a short amount of time if you're expecting a push here or you're guarding a particular hard point. Maybe there's a hard point down here and your team is already capturing it and so you just want to defend your team as they're capturing it. This can be a good overlook to that window depending on the weapon you have um, or checking and protecting a flank. But if you spend too much time up here, you are pretty exposed from a couple of positions. So a good spot to know about to check for people up here, but not a, not a great spot to spend a lot of time in. This is a, a common route to move through uh, this part of the map. 
Anytime I talk about routes that are common, that's my way of saying be wary if you use them, be cautious and try not to use them too much. So if you need to move to this side of the map, the way that I typically do it through here is coming around here because most of the time where you'll run into people is overlooking in that window or maybe pushing from across here. So if they're pushing from that building, this gives you some cover when you come around here so you can check that window. Also, if people are pushing through here and you hear their footsteps, there's a good chance they're gonna pop out over here. I like moving through this route if you come through here you are very exposed there's not any cover here and anyone that's along here using this as cover can see you and the same thing with going through the dome like I said before you're exposed so and from here you know there is a lot of open space you typically want to stay out of these middle routes unless you're just really confident you know where the enemy is so I'll usually come and check here and then I'll move over here to get this cover and then if I think someone might be over here which is relatively rare unless they're stupid, then I'll check, but otherwise I'm using this as cover to kind of check people coming through here on my way over there. Something I might also do, if maybe I'm trying to move more quickly, is I'll just duck straight in here and use a little bit of this cover to see if anyone's over there, and then I'll be moving towards probably either a hard point or maybe if I'm moving to push the C objective coming through here. Now, obviously the most common route is coming through this door. People will set up here and watch this door. Doors in general in maps are kill want windows, death funnels. So unless you are relatively confident, you know where the enemy is, avoiding doors in general, especially in high traffic areas is a good idea. So I wouldn't necessarily push through this door. If I'm pushing through this way, again, you're gonna maybe find people up there. If you have a drill charge, um, one of my favorite things to do regardless of what I'm doing is I'll throw a drill charge up there because even if I don't see anyone, there's a good chance someone's up there. And then when you're moving across this way, the, the best two options you have for pushing through here are either to hop up on this power box and go straight up here, in which case you can check and see if someone's guarding this window. If they don't hear you, then you can get an easy kill here. And then even pushing over here, looking to people coming from the C flag. Now, if you wanna push to C, the most common way to go would be either to jump off here and go straight through those doors or that gap to see, or to go back down the stairs. But again, high traffic areas, those will get you killed. So my favorite way to push towards C from here is you can stand on this ledge and move around this way. And if you run and jump, you can actually jump all the way over to there. Um, of course, when I'm showing you, I'm gonna screw these jumps up. In games, I never seem to have problems with this. So I'll be sprinting this way and then I'll jump across and then you can be over here. People will not tend to see you, even if someone is standing watching this door. Um, so let's say they're here and they're trying to guard this area if you jump down here there's a good chance that you will catch them off guard because they'll be looking through here and they won't see you coming around so even people over by the stairs on the sea cap uh, if you take this route um, you have a good chance of catching these people off guard and then you've got options uh, from there and as you may have noticed the same thing coming from the other way if you decide to come this route you can, if you don't want to push straight through here, it's usually safer pushing from this direction because you can watch the door and see if people are pushing there. You have the advantage. If you're trying to move up towards the window, I wouldn't recommend going straight to the window like this because you're huge in the window and people will be always looking for someone here. So if you do want to get up here, even if you just want to use the window, what I would recommend is coming up the stairs and then jumping up here. That way you're not standing big in front of the window and then you can come back. And if you want to check the window, you can do it from further back in a safer position. But otherwise, I would recommend coming either straight through here or if you come over here and you're starting to feel pushes then you can come over here and just walk right along this jump up on this and from these pipes you can either get up here to the window area you can overlook a little bit here as long as you stay far back so that you're kind of head glitching from back here um, if you come all the way up front here you're a bigger target so you can kind of check this area from relative safety and again if you start taking shots you've got a lot of places to take cover and escape or if you're on the pipes you can even you know you can even from here just jump straight across and move into this, although I don't do that very often. You can also uh, come around through the water and swim and either come up here in this position or swim all the way around. Swimming, especially fast swimming, is pretty loud and you're pretty vulnerable and don't have cover out there. So that is a very situational if you decide to use the external water on that side. I wouldn't recommend it. Let's talk about another route transitioning through here. Just in general, if you're moving between these two buildings, the best way to do that is this rock ledge here. It took me an embarrassingly long amount of time to realize you could do this. Uh, and I think I even figured it out from someone who jumped across in a kill cam. But if you wanna move between these buildings, rather than jumping in the water and, tr and then trying to climb up here, which is slow and loud, you can just simply move across to this ledge there back and forth. So that's a good way to, to transverse these two buildings uh, and also again keeping in mind the positions you're trying to reach um, if you're going this way 
there's a good chance you're either trying to push into this flag or maybe even get an overlook here. So then this transitions into those other routes I showed you. Um, going the other way, you know, with that uh, overlook position up there, you can move right on top of this generator to get up here and check these positions. Be aware when you're coming through here, if someone is up on that catwalk already, which is very common, they will have a big advantage over you. So coming in here, if you know this building is occupied, is a very dangerous move. So make sure that you're checking this area first, keeping in mind some people might be coming down low. So you might wanna come in here, check and see if that's clear, and then listen maybe if someone's down low, clear them out if necessary, and then you might transition into climbing up here to this position. But uh, in general, that is a dangerous route coming through here. So again, use it situationally. Then when you're coming here, if you want to attack the B flag from this side, the way I recommend it is either to check here that it's clear and then you can jump straight to it. Or if you're pushing up from this side, this is true for hard points that are in the middle area too. Clear this route first to make sure no one's looking from that building. And then you can come right in to this position of cover. One thing to be aware of from this position here is that people on that jump spot over there can see you from up there. So be aware, not only are you checking down here, but also someone up there being able to shoot down at you. When you get to mid parts of the map, that's where it's very dangerous. So let's talk about the no-go zones on this map. In general, I will say when you've got a no-go zone, don't go there ever unless it's very situational. Either you're willing to take a big risk and die because you need to get to an objective, maybe you're running short on time, or you're really confident that you know where the other team is and that no one has a line of sight on you. This entire area out here is a no-go zone, right? You can check this area from this window if you wanna defend the B flag, but then if you wanna move out of this area, I would recommend taking either the route up there through that top area and then transition back into these other safer routes, whether it's gonna be out to the river and around or out there and around. Um, but what I would not do is I would not jump out this window unless you're going straight out here. And in which case you still check that, move towards the riverside. And I definitely wouldn't ever come out here and I would never, ever, ever use this door. You see this door and this door? Never go through these. These are some of the biggest death funnels in this map. If you come out here, you will get lit up. If you come out here, you will get lit up from that side of the map or from back here, from people transitioning across. So don't go through here uh, unless it's very, very situational. Use safer routes to come and attack the B flag. Also, if you're attacking from this side, people on that, on the top over there, when you come through, be aware you're gonna be coming into the open. So if you wanna push through here for expedience, then be careful because you are in a vulnerable position from a lot of areas coming through here. The safer route um, for pushing from there would be to come down here. And then again, check and see if anyone's guarding from back there. If not, then come up here. And then you can check and see if you're clear here from a place where people are less likely to see you. And then immediately duck around here and you can either move into this building um, if you think they're down low or if they're up top and you think they're dumb and you can push down here and attack them from behind, that's fine. If you want to be a little more cheeky about it, then when you push around here, you can jump up on this little ledge and then just jump straight up here. So this gives you the ability to either overlook from here or if they're not really paying attention, you can get a surprise on them here. Just keep in mind with this route, A, it makes you pretty exposed from this part of the map. So don't linger in this position, use it to transition quickly. And also when someone's up here, there's a good chance that this is the position they're taking. So if you come and bring this route and you jump in front of them, be aware that they're probably gonna immediately see you. So either use this if you wanna transition up to this location without coming all the way around and climbing up yourself, or if you wanna attack someone at this position, make sure that you come ready to fight as you come around that corner. Another thing is when you're trying to fight against this building, um, we'll talk about these water routes in a second because this is one of my favorite things about this map. The other thing is when you're pushing from here, if you also want to challenge there, another good choice that you have is to come through here as long as you don't have someone standing watching this position. This is also a no-go zone, real briefly while we're here. This middle area here is a big no-go zone. There's no cover. It's open from both sides. You can't cover every position. There's even a water piece here where you'll sometimes find people. But this entire middle route way here is a no-go zone. Don't use that ever. However, if you're coming through here, one good thing to use, and I'll especially include this when I'm using this water route, um, you can sneak in through here, check and make sure this is clear. And then I like to hug right against this right wall, right? This left side, no-go zone. Don't come over here, ever. Don't be over here. 
People, I see people all the time right here trying to use this as a line of sight to snipe or watch. Don't do this. This is not a good position. If you start taking fire from here, then the amount of options you have to get away are very limited. You either run straight back, in which case you still have that line of sight, or you duck over here, in which case you know that you either have to come over here or there. It just puts you in a really dangerous spot. Grenades will follow you. This is a no-go zone. Don't come through here. However, if you're ducking around here, Stay right up on here. You don't even have to jump if you just hug this corner. Right as you come around, hug up to the right. Stay right along here. You can check and see if they're coming from here. Maybe catch anyone that's in this area by surprise. But then the reason that I use this area is then you can then move in through this window. So if someone is up here and maybe they are watching for the entrance here, instead of you coming through this door and getting shot by them immediately, you can instead get kind of a cheeky flank where you come around this side, make sure it's clear, hop in the window here, and then check and see if anyone's in the building. And then either take a peek through here, don't go through this door ever, <laughs> right? Even if you're coming to this position, don't use this door. This is a no-go zone. Um, you can check through here and then move out here into, again, my riverside route. Another thing you can do in a crunch is peek through here if you have to push. This is another no-go zone. This is a big dead space where you will end up big dead. So that's very situational. If you're gonna come through here, the one way that I suggest you ever come through this route is through this here window to attack this position. Other than that, I would not recommend coming this way. I would recommend the Riverside route. So those are kind of the main routes above ground that I recommend and that you'll see people using in general. But now I wanna talk about the water routes, which are extremely useful. There's only a couple that you really need to know, but they are important. So we'll start from the A side, which is the less useful side for the water routes. In general, from this side, I don't like to jump in this one like ever. I hardly ever find the use. If you're trying to use a water route for a quick flank to move to the other side, like maybe to attack the C flag or to get a flank on the B flag. This can be a good entry point. Um, I obviously in this no go zone, I don't ever recommend coming in here um, and coming into this zone. Matter of fact, I don't even recommend coming out of this one. This one's kind of don't use it, you know, unless it's situational. And then on the, the other water route on this side is getting out in that open water, which I don't recommend either. So coming from the A side, the only water route I really recommend is here. And that's if you're trying to push quickly for a flank, in which case swim straight back here towards the C flag, right? Or, or if there's a hard point and then come straight through here. Now here, when you see this little blue frame, if you come up before that, you're in this little spot out here by this open space. So if you want to say, push someone who's in this building here, or maybe there's a hard point here, um, you wanna come and do that, or someone standing in this middle route, this can be a good way to flank there. So you have the option of coming up there, or if you continue on through here and pop up just on the other side of the blue route, then you can now decide if you wanna push into this building or this building. Again, this is the same thing where it's kind of risky pushing from this side to this side. If there's people up here, they can see you. Um, but if there's a hard point here or an objective and you wanna move through here, this can be a good way to get a flank on. If someone's maybe up there, then you can push into that route. You can see how these transition into the other routes that I've been telling you about. Similarly, you can come up here and uh, either move to attack the C flag, or if you wanna get up behind people that might be camping that window, you have the option to move up in here and either uh, push from that, jump on that pipe, or you can go back to this safer pipe over here where you can push from the outside. This is a safer route. You can jump up here, but with this being, again, a high traffic area, if you're vaulting on this a lot, you know it leaves you vulnerable, but that is an option if you wanna push that. So from the A side, that is the water route that I will use very regularly. And then there's more that I will use pushing from this side, mainly because of broken building over there, that Overwatch building. People love to sit up there. So getting over there without coming through the open is where these water routes are really useful. Again, this is the no-go zone, so you don't go there. You can use the river route, which I think is a good option. Pushing through here is very dangerous because even though you can kind of see where people are here, if you get caught with a couple people pushing, there's nowhere to go other than to turn around and run away, which will get you killed. Or if you want to be able to push that building, you, I would recommend you can do so through a water route. If you're through here and you get into this water, then get a good breath kind of before you go in because you're going to be going in a little ways and then come here and to the right and keep an eye up on the top left of the map and you're going to swim over until you see this big square on the left side where you want to come up so this is that pool right in front of that building so you can swim from there all the way to here in a single breath and then when you come over here you can either hurdle out on this side, in which case you can either push straight into the building, um, check and see if anyone's here, maybe the B flag to get a flank. You can go straight up here to push this position if you want to, or 
when you're in the water. You can come up and you can come out on this side, in which case you can check if that's clear, B flag from the rear, and you can push straight over here and get into this window. So I like that route a lot. I would get used to figuring out how to get to this pool from everywhere that you can, even on the river side, like let's say that you're pushing over here and and someone's fighting here maybe you get in a gunfight with someone at longer range and you don't kill them they take cover and you don't want to repush this fight jump right into the water here go under and then one of my favorite things to do is you can either push left and go to like that blue frame where i said between those two buildings or if you come through here again keeping an eye on that square on the map you can come up here into this position so i like th i like this pool i like this exit i don't like this one <laughs> the one on the other side i would not recommend you ever come in this i would say this is a no-go zone because if you pop out here you're in the open with not many places to go you come out here you're in the open with not many places to go unless you specifically want to climb up on the b flag from here i wouldn't recommend it and even then if you're going to capture the b flag from this side i would recommend coming to this spot hopping up on this side checking see if anyone's there see if anyone's there are they guarding here is anyone guarding up there and if not then push to be from a position of more safety right don't use that pool additionally you can go beyond that to push further back into their spawn um, this is a place i do like to use every now and then keep in mind this one here in the middle is this no-go pool if you've got like a really situational time when you want to use this um, you can but otherwise i would recommend you don't do that uh, instead and i'll put it where you'll usually run into it either you'll be in a gunfight out here and you want to escape into this water or maybe you're on the other side those two buildings are back there and you jump into that water so say you get in a gunfight here boom you jump in their team's pushing maybe they're setting up a line there you want to swim through here deeper into there and you want to learn how to keep an eye on your mini map so you know where you're coming up and you see that little dotted line that's a water pool and this this is a decent spot to come up to it allows you to kind of clear out if anyone's standing here you can kind of scope this first i wouldn't come here and jump straight out i would scope the area people might be moving into that building they might be over here camping generally they won't hear you or see you coming up here so you have a chance to scope it out if it's dangerous then just get right back in and then maybe backtrack to that square entry into that building where it's safer um all the way back around here again you can do all these in one breath if you know the routes um actually i'll just jump out here because it's faster do, 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 versus from here or you can maybe even come out if you want to and start clearing to see if they're in here pushing into the enemy spawn oh did that did the timer run out it's been 30 minutes already huh that is my overall recommendations for how you would move around and play in Zarqua. There's, you know, other jumps, other places you can get to, but in general gameplay, that's what you're going to use. Okay, minions, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully you got some value out of that. Hopefully you will play better on Hydro now that you've got some of these safer routes to use. If you enjoyed that video, leave me a like. If you didn't and I rambled too much, leave me a dislike. If you like stuff like this and want to see more from Wheezy, Subscribe, become a minion, and if you guys want to see some suggestions for another map that I did, I did an introductory video on tips for moving around in border crossing. I know that one's largely disliked. I will do another video in the future where I do like this, where I break down the routes that I like in that map, but I did a good high level uh, explanation of how I like moving through that map and why I actually really enjoy border crossing, so go check that out if you haven't seen it. Otherwise, I will see you guys in the next one.